Good morning. My name is Father Roland Nadel. I'm the pastor of Blessed Trinity Catholic Church here in Orlando. And you have just tuned in to the pastor's notes number 29. Today is the 11th of November, Veterans Day. And it is 11.20 in the morning. I begin our report by saying thank you. Thank you and God bless you and God keep you and God help you in any way you need. You veterans out there, men and women in uniform who have served our country and served and protected our rights and privileges, we thank you. Issues in today's uh, pastor's notes are basically all life-giving and uplifting things. Our first number, number one, is a report on the blood drive of November 1st. We were able to, to harvest 31 units of blood. Now that means 93 uh, lives were helped or saved by Blessed Trinity blood-giving on November 1st. Thank you very much. It's a, an expression of solidarity and support and of altruism, not to say Christian charity, in this time of need. Number two, we're posting a job here at the parish center and here rather at uh, our parish offices and that is the position of bookkeeper is open. We're looking for a person who can offer full-time service and as well receive benefits through the Diocese of Orlando. Please identify yourself by a phone call to the parish office, 407-277-1702, or call the parish, excuse me, call the diocesan center, the Chancery Building, and look it up on, on uh, online, Diocese of Orlando, and look for job and career openings. You'll see the job posted there as well. Please go to the diocese first. They would want to talk to you before you even talk to us. Number three. Knights of Columbus are in high gear these days. They have three items for my pastor's notes. The first is that they are selling a Keep Christ and Christmas um, car magnet, which is an outline of, of the Christmas manger. Five dollars will get you one of those. It is directed to the families of faith formation people, but also anybody in the parish who wants one of those to put on your car, please call the parish office 407-277-1702. $5 will get you a, a uh, Christmas manger magnet for your car. Number two, the Knights of Columbus I have two uh, contests going for, for the youth and the children in your parish, in our parish. The first is for grades 8 to 12. It's the Knights of Columbus Catholic Citizenship Essay Contest. Now this deadline for essays is on December 2. And this is submit, this is offered to grades 8 to 12. Please submit your, your, um, your product to Louis, Faith Formation Director. Details are found in the bulletin and on the website. And number three, the Knights of Columbus are also sponsoring a program for the children of K through grade 8. And it's entitled... Keep Christ in Christmas. And this is a poster contest. Submit your entries to Louis. 
Details also found in the bulletin and on the parish website. Bless your hearts and thank you Knights of Columbus. Talking of Christmas and such things, we have our annual Christmas flower collection coming up on the 14th and 15th of November. This is an annual event that allows us to invest a few extra dollars to beautify the church, <coughs> excuse me, the church uh, during for our Christmas celebrations. Flower collection means you have two ways of offering a tribute, a tribute in memory of a loved one, number one, your name as a giver and the, and the recipient's name is listed and or in honor of someone, this would be a living person whom you want to, to honor in a special way for wonderful reasons that that person is helping your life. Christmas flower collection, November 14 and 15. Number five, uh, why well, you've heard me talk about boxes of joy that was initiated by our, our youth um, ministry, no, initiated by our faith formation ministry. These are little shoebox sized containers that hold all kinds of goodies for families in the Dominican Republic in our sister diocese, people who have very little in the world's goods, but people who are filled with faith, filled with joy, and filled with hope. And this is what the box of joy hopefully can increase in their hearts, the gift of joy. It can, anything from family needs, uh, toothbrushes, toothpaste, uh, pencils and pencil sharpeners, all kinds of things. There's a list of actually suggested items that you can find on our website. T today, to this date, we have 95 boxes of joy that, uh, that have been sent. Now, each box costs $9 to, to mail, and that also has been offered by the, uh, the donor. An interesting story is that one of our catechists at work brought this idea and she sold 106 boxes of joy that people at her office were wanting to purchase and to share with the poor people of the Dominican Republic. God bless Ingrid. Thank you, Ingrid. Great job. Wonderful. Thanksgiving baskets. baskets. You've heard me talk about that. We for years have offered uh, food, Thanksgiving food for a Thanksgiving meal, of course, as well as um, debit cards for supermarket purchases for food. We're only at 50 this time this year. My guess is that many of us have also already participated in other food uh, distribution programs for the holiday season. Well, whatever the case, if you have interest in participating in Blessed Trinity's Thanksgiving baskets now, indeed, would be the time to step forward. Call the parish office for any questions you might have. Lastly, on my list today is Advent. Now, Advent is right around the corner. It starts on the 29th of November, the first Sunday of Advent. There'll be much more coming in subsequent pastor's notes, but for today, the first item on the agenda is actually December 1st, and that is our annual Advent celebration of the Sacrament of Penance, the Sacrament of Reconciliation, a time to go to confession for Christmas time. Please consider this, Tuesday, December 1st, 7 p.m., here in the parish church, the Advent reconciliation service. Well, that wraps it up for today. That's what I have to say, except thank you. Thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your ongoing financial support. And we pray that the, the Advent season, which is 
described by one of the major images of Advent, which is light in the darkness. Oh, God knows that we need light in the darkness that surrounds us this year, surrounds the whole world, and certainly our own country. Uh, we pray Christ's light touch us all, and especially your own hearts and your families, that God keep you always close to him. Thank you very much, and stay safe.